Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're going to continue with chapter four of our story, Amazon Fever. So if you haven't watched the first two videos yet, you can stop this one and go watch those other two. Um, but if you have seen that, then we'll continue with chapter four. So just as a quick review, um, I want to think back to the main events that happened in the other chapters. Um, we have Jeff, who's one of the main characters, and then we have his uncle Roy, who's another main character. I think it's them that you can see in this picture here. But they are now in the Amazon rainforest, and they're looking for butterflies that they can bring back to um, Uncle Roy's museum. So when we left Jeff last time, he was like a little bit scared to be in the rainforest just because they're seeing lots of animals like anacondas and animals that are like alligators and tarantulas. Um, so let's see what they, if they find anything else today. This chapter is called Ghost Butterflies. After a late morning snack, we got back on the trail into the forest. Look, Uncle Roy cried. He pointed one way, then another. Butterflies were everywhere. We spotted glimmering blue morpho butterflies bobbing up and down in the sunlight. They looked like pieces of sky that had come loose. So I'm going to, I kind of want to look up a picture of a blue morpho butterfly. I can see the little pictures right here, but I want to see the real thing. So I'm going to go to Google. And if you remember last time we looked up scarlet macaw just so we can see what it looked like. I'm going to look up morpho butterflies. Okay, so now I can have a really good visual of what these kind of butterflies actually look like. And they are really beautiful. Okay, so let's go back to the book. Now you can know what, they're, what kind of butterflies they're seeing right now. The owl butterflies were harder to find. Mm, so there's a different kind of butterfly. They stood perfectly still on the vines. Their big fake eyes on their wings seemed to stare at us. Tiger-striped butterflies zipped and zoomed across our path. Each time we saw a different type of butterfly, the scientists stopped to take notes. So friends, this could be a really good thing to put in our KWL chart also. It just listed a couple different kinds of butterflies, so we could put that on something that we've learned. Butterflies weren't the only bugs out. The air was thick and still. The mosquitoes were making me itch. I swatted at them with a leaf as we pushed deeper into the jungle. Then I saw a butterfly with wings as clear as glass. So think about like the glass in a, in a window. If its wings were clear, that means you could like see right through them. It fluttered slowly in the dark leaves and disappeared like a ghost. Oh, that must be the ghost wing butterfly they're looking for. Hey, Uncle Roy, I called. I think I just saw a ghost wing. Uncle Roy came over. If you did, maybe we can lure it into a trap. We found a little clearing near a stream and put up our tents. Then we carried the traps to a special place in the forest. The scientists showed me how to set up the nets. We used rotten bananas for bait. Whew, this stinks. Butterflies actually like this stuff, I asked. Still, it wasn't as bad as the bait I found Uncle Roy collecting. Bird poop. Real bird poop. Ghost wings love it, he said cheerfully. I can't believe the weird things butterflies eat, I cried. So this could be another cool fact that we put on our KWL chart in the L part. Some butterflies eat bird poop. I did not know that. That is a cool fact. Once the traps were ready, the grown-ups fixed our dinner in the screened-in dining tent. And it's probably, I'm looking at this word, screened in. It's probably screened in because there are so many mosquitoes and insects. So they want to put something around the dining room or the dining table so that there's not too many bugs in there. We settled in to camp for the night. So now we have some more journaling from Jeff. Field day, day two, evening. Fried banana mush for supper. Oh, yum. If I eat enough of this stuff, I'll turn into butterfly bait myself. After dinner, we had to move our tents. Army ants invaded our camp. Millions of them. I tried to stomp them, but they bit at my legs like crazy. Have you guys ever gotten bitten by an ant before? I have, and it really hurts. 
Uncle Roy says the only thing to do with army ants is to get out of their way. I just hope I got all the ants out of my sleeping bag. More hoots, clicks, screeks, and thumps out there tonight. I think I'm getting used to this. So as he's laying in his tent, he's listening to all the sounds of the jungle. Number five, or sorry, chapter five is called Lost in the Jungle. The next morning, Uncle Roy couldn't wait to see what we'd caught in our traps. He pulled on one boot. Ouch, 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 he cried. He yanked it off and dropped it. Uncle Roy needs to listen to his own rules, like the one about always watching where you put your feet. I want you to think for a second. He put his foot into his boot and then he said, ouch, ouch, ouch. What do you think was inside his boot? What do you think was in there? A scorpion crawled out of his boot. It looked more annoyed than Uncle Roy. Wow, I said. I didn't know they had those in the jungle, too. This could be another animal for your KWL chart. Apparently so, he growled, holding his stung foot in his hands. One of the scientists brought over the first aid kit. Is he going to be okay? I asked. She told me that most scorpion bites were no worse than a bad bee sting. Still, Uncle Roy would have to be grounded in his tent all morning just to be sure. I'll be fine, Uncle Roy grumbled. He propped up his foot and started writing in his journal. He looked pretty mad, if you ask me. I'll check the traps for you, I volunteered. Ugh, grunted Uncle Roy. He didn't even look up from his journal. I grabbed the net he'd tried to give me the day before. Maybe I could catch some cool butterfly to cheer him up. Near the traps, I found a fallen log where I could sit. There were plenty of butterflies in the traps already, and at least one ghost wing. I sat scribbling notes. As I sat scribbling notes, I saw a dark butterfly with a red and yellow with red and yellow spots flitting past. I bet Uncle Roy would like that one, I thought. Never go into the jungle alone. I heard his voice in my head warning me, so I hardly went far at all. The butterfly landed on a leaf. I swooped my net toward it, but it flew off. I pushed through some bushes and tried again. It dipped in and out between some branches and settled on a flower. I swung my net. Gotcha, I cried. I looked in. Empty. Disappointed, I turned... There we go. Disappointed, I turned back toward camp. Butterflies hunting harder than I thought, I mumbled, but the jungle had closed in around me. So I think that means he's like kind of lost. The jungle closed in around him. That means wherever he looks, there's jungle. So maybe he doesn't really know which way to go. Where was the camp? All I could see were leaves and more leaves. I stumbled forward. I forgot to watch where I put my feet. Something slithered just inches from my toes. Ooh, what do you think it was that slithered in front of his toes? I began to sweat. Help, I croaked. I was lost, lost in the Amazon jungle. So when he says, help, he croaked. So we know that a croak is something like a frog does. So maybe he's like, his voice is kind of strained when he's saying that. I heard footsteps rustling in the bushes nearby. Jaguar! I squeezed against a tree and held my breath. The bushes parted. It was Uncle Roy. He, w he hobbled into the clearing. Jeff, how many times have I told you not to? He stopped mid-sentence and stared at the top of my head. Good heavens, he gasped. It's a Heliconius Naderary. A what? I cried. What was a hell in a whatsis? What do you think it is? What do you think he's talking about? A snake? Hanging over my head? I didn't dare move a muscle. The other scientists pressed through the bushes. They stared at me too. It's amazing. So it seems like there's something behind him because the other scientists are looking at him and they're looking at something that's in the, the Amazon. What do you think it is? What do you think they're all looking at? It must like the scent of Jeff's shampoo. Haven't seen one of those here in years, a scientist, the scientist spoke in hushed voices. 
What? What? I cried. I had no idea what they were talking about. Congratulations, Jeff. You found a very rare long winged butterfly, Uncle Roy said. Really? I breathed again. Not a snake? Ray focused the camera. Sorry. Uncle Roy focused the camera. Focus the camera on the butterfly in my hair. And you can see it in the picture right here. I stood as still as I could while he took pictures. Then the butterfly flew off in a dark flash of yellow and red. That's the one I was after, I cried. She's neat, but what's the big deal? This area has been recovering from over farming and lumbering for years, Uncle Roy ex ex explained. To see this butterfly back means that its home is getting healthy again. Guess you're getting healthy too, I pointed at Uncle Ray's foot. He grinned. I'm getting there. Besides, it was boring sitting in the tent. I patted him on the back. Patience, Uncle Roy. All right, so we'll stop there for today, friends. Let's review real quick the most important um, parts from that those two chapters that we just read. So. Uncle Ray in this in chapter five gets bit by a scorpion and Jeff goes into the Amazon rainforest to see if he can find some butterflies and he sees and finds this really special one and it is a Heliconius natureri. So it's also called a, let's see if we can find the name of it, a rare long wing butterfly. So he, and it seems like that butterfly is back in that part of the Amazon, which is really good because it, they haven't seen it there in a long time. And so that means maybe some of the plants are growing back after it's been over farmed. So maybe at one time some of the trees were all cut down and now everything is growing back and so the butterfly is there again, which is awesome. All right, so I'll see you next time, friends.